Mean versus median is an often confused concept. They're not that hard to understand though because they calculate very different things. Most of the confusion lies upon when you should use the mean and when you should use the median. We'll understand both of these concepts in just a little bit. Understand that, keep in mind that these can only be used for data sets, right? Systems where you have all of the data already as a discrete number of points. You shouldn't use either of these when looking at random variables because it doesn't really mean that. Mean is similar to expected value, but there's no analog to median for a random variable. So the mean, often denoted by the symbol mu, is calculated based on the sum of i from 1 to n, where n is the total number of values in your data set, of the value of your, of your data at, at, of, the ith data, uh, of the ith number in your data set, divided by n. The, we've seen this all, right? This is, this is simply adding up all the numbers in the data set and dividing it by the total number of, data, of points there are. That's it, very simple. This is the common average that most people are familiar with. Median, on the other hand, is the middle number. And I can't write a simple mathematical expression for that because it's an algorithm. You have to take your data set, you have to sort it, and you have to go and find the middle number. In the case that you have an odd number of, of, data, set, uh, of data points in your data set, congratulations, you can get a middle number. In the case that you have an even number, then you have to actually take the middle two and perform the mean of those two to get the median. So this is a more complicated, seemingly a little more esoteric and abstract idea, which is why it doesn't really get a lot of attention. But in reality, median is often the better one to use for many reasons that we'll unpack here. These are both looking at very different things and they give you very different guarantees, right? When you take the mean of a data set, you are getting the value, the expected value, if you were to draw randomly many, 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 many times. That's what the mean is, right? This is equal to expected value. But when you take the median, you're, you're actually making a completely different statement. This is equivalent to saying, I, this, this middle, this, the median tells me the number below which and above which 50% of the data falls. So if you take randomly from your data set, 50% of the time, the number that you draw out of the data, out of your data set, out of your list of numbers, will be guaranteed always to be 50% of the time above the median and 50% of the time below the median. You cannot make that statement about the mean. Well, if you draw a number randomly out of a list of numbers that you have out of your data set, your mean is not guaranteed to be anywhere near, the, the, anywhere near uh, a number that is below or above 50%. These are the, the, the differences between these two. The mean will tell you on average what the value you expect to see. But the median is the number that 50% of the time when you draw that number, your number will be below, above it and 50% of the time below it. To make this concrete, let's take a look at two distributions. One where we have a normal distribution and pretend this is a true normal distribution that's fully symmetric. If we calculate the mean, and we'll, we'll plot the mean here using in yellow, if we plot the mean, and we also plot the median, so we'll do mean in yellow, and we'll do the median green. These will be right on top of each other because the median and the mean are the same for something that isn't for a distribution that is normal. 
but for a distribution or symmetric as well um, across across uh, across the mean. That'll also be true. Where there's an equal number of things above and below the mean, then your median will also fall right on right on top of it. But where things break down is if you have a distribution that looks more like this, where it's heavily skewed and it may look something like this. In this case, where zero is over here, that's important. In this case, the mean is going to be pulled out quite a bit. The mean will get pulled out all the way out to here, let's say. But the median will not. The median will be much closer to where most of the data lies. And so the median might fall right around here. And why is this? Well, it's because of the properties of these two calculations. The mean will be influenced by these large numbers over here because that's how it's calculated. It's the value that you expect when you draw randomly from here. It's not the middle number where half of the data is below and half of the data is above. The median is precisely that. The median will always sit where half of the numbers in from your, from your, from your data set are below it and half of it are above. It's not going to be as influenced by data out here. We can call these, for example, outliers. And your, the median is robust in many, uh, uh, in many cases, as people would describe it, to outliers. Because if you end up with a situation where this grows even more, the distribution here gets bumped up even more. And this all, right, you have some, some large number that pops over here. What you're going to end up seeing is that the mean, the mean will get pulled quite a bit over, whereas the median won't move very much, just a little bit, because Again, if this isn't still not a large num quantity of numbers that get added to the data set, they're not going to influence where the middle number in the data set lies. It's precisely this reason that when you see, for example, on the news or the radio, they talk about property value and homes, they always report the median home price. They will never report the mean home price. Why is that? Because the distribution of homes looks something much like this, much more like this than it does like this. The distribution of, 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 of uh, costs of homes follows a, is definitely skewed, where most of them are on some low end over here, and there's some very small but extremely expensive homes that are out there on the luxury end, but there just aren't very many of them. And the mean calculation would artificially look, if you said that the average home price was whatever, X, and you were quoting the mean, you would be giving a false perception of what the average home buyer would be facing when purchasing a home. The average home buyer is going to be much more concerned about what the median price is because that more truly reflects what the cost of, of an average from their perspective home is on that zip code or county or whatever it is that we're talking about, city, state, area. Why? Because by and large, when they're thinking about buying a home, there's a 50% chance that they're going to be below the median. And thus, the median is a much more, much more accurate representation for them of what the average cost of a home is. Average is a complicated term. It really depends on what it is you're trying to describe. Are you trying to describe the average number if you were to draw randomly? Or are you trying to figure out what the average value is in your data set? The average is the expected value of the data when you draw randomly, right? Over many, many times. The vast majority of people that are reporting in literature would be better off reporting medians than means because most of the times their data are not normally distributed. 
they are in fact much more skewed, but they usually, you know, it's, it's, it's much less common to plot the full distribution of data instead provide summary statistics without ever even looking to confirm whether or not your data is symmetric or normal. In the case that it is symmetric or normal, go, great, go ahead, report mean all you want. It's just the same as the median or very close to it. But if your data is not normally distributed or symmetric, you have to be very careful about which of these two you choose because the message you're sending will be very different. 